Hello, I'm Julie and Steve, and dad novellas suck. Here's why. Telenovelas are soap operas usually in Latin America. Many telenovelas share some stylistic and thematic similarities to the soap operas familiar to the English speaking world. The significant difference is their series run length. Telenovelas tell one self contained story, typically within the span of a year or less, whereas soap operas tend to have intertwined storylines toward during infinite continuing runs. Usually, their novellas last between 30 to 45 minutes. The final episodes are usually longer. Back in the days, their novellas began on the radio with 30 minute daytime segments geared towards housewives in Latin America. By the 1950s, the genre made the jump to primetime television. Beginning in Brazil with 1951's Suya Bida Menpetis, translated Your Life Belongs to Me. She dared to challenge the status quo. In a time. As much as I like telenovelas, or specifically these shows that you guys seen clips of the theme songs, I I hope you all notice there's a theme. Almost everyone is either mestizo or white, Latinos. There's no variety. There's no variety at all. And it's ridiculous because there are Asian, black, and indigenous Latinos. We deserve to be represented as well in these type of novelas because it's going to give an impression that we do not exist. There's a huge misunderstanding on what it means to be Latino. Latino is not a race. It's an ethnicity and a culture. We have been questioned our whole lives about why we don't look Hispanic. And most Americans don't even know that Afro-Latinos exist. If you watch television in the United States, you can clearly see the diversity that exists within the American community. But go watch Univision and Telemundo and tell me what you see. There's clearly a lack of representation of people of color on both channels. Rarely do you ever see any black hosts or actors on Univision or Telemundo. You only see people of one color, and the wider they are, the more opportunities they get. 
we you guys can see it's happening in the United States as well now that that certain movies that I've talked about on this channel have come out people are starting to think that having mixed race afro latinos or people who look afro latino but they not and spreading them as our representation us afro latinos who have two black parents and needing towards the brown to dark skin ratio of complexion and it's ridiculous because we deserve to be represented too Same thing as Asian and indigenous Latinos too. They deserve to be represented. Take for instance novelas that I grew up watching. Maripar, Luz Clarita, and Soñadoras. All consisted of a light-skinned Latina like myself or a white-passing Latina as the protagonist. Just Google top novela stars and you'll realize real quick that our novela stars lean a little more on the European side. Take for instance actress Cristina Campuzano from Colombia's novela La Niña. Just kidding! That's Sarah Paulson from American Horror Story. Dang, they look alike. Novelas are so white because of a little something called colorism. Do not get me wrong, I was inspired by numerous actors and actresses within Univision and Telemundo for their contributions into the acting, the acting environment, <laughs> I don't know, within the acting field, they inspired me. Tania, Fernando Cunha, Victoria Rufio, and Cesar Ivora. These fellow actors and actresses, they inspired me. Like, they're the main actors that have inspired me. Of course, there's a few others, like, within these shows that I've mentioned. But it's crazy out of all these shows. The only show that authentically represent Afro Latino characters in a good way is Saya, 2015 Saya. And I do know a few people had criticisms with the lead actress going to Jamin because she's not the same well around the same complexion as Saya Cruz but this is my opinion you do not have to agree with it but to me Jameen is a, the closest to Saya like her features they you could tell you could tell she's mixed race and Saya Cruz was mixed race too I think people be forgetting that Saya Cruz was not fully black she was mixed race so they chose the right person to portray her, in my opinion. And Yamin, you could see her features. She has Afro features. And she even has like the similar hairstyle as Saya. So she's not as dark as Saya, but the point is she's still mixed, just like Saya. I really enjoy the show. I like the show a lot. I really do. I appreciate the Afro Latino proper representation but we still need more we need more in Univision and or Telemundo because I, I that wasn't on Univision Univision mm -mm. but Telemundo yes it was on Telemundo but we need more these are the following roles that we are limited to in Latin American novelas specifically in Univision and Telemundo. Being a background actor. Playing a maid. Corazón, mi niña se está ahogando. Ay, niña, Marima, se ve bien que eres primeriza. A ver, a ver, dame la paca, dame la paca, hombre. A ver. Las mantas que no puedes entrar, perdóname. ¿Cómo que no? Yo vine para trabajar de ayudante en la boda de un pudiente. 
an evil villain who assists the main evil villain character, or worst, a slave. And it's either or it's portrayed by black or mixed with black people, specifically Afro Latinos. What's worse is that these type of portrayals are usually towards black and indigenous Latinos. We the ones who usually fit within those fucking categories. <laughs> like they do not want to see us in the needing or supporting roles. And if we are, we usually in like a sidekick portraying the evil villain or even serving one of the need characters, but we rarely get screen time. It's ridiculous. And then the Asian Latinos are completely not seen. I'm not sure how accurate my statistics are, but I do know that there are people, well, specifically the novellas I've grew up watching, I didn't see any Asian Latinos represented, in my opinion. This is my opinion. So I could, I could only speak for black and indigenous Latinos. La Escava Branca, the new telenovela rewriting Colombia's History of Slavery by Yesenia Barragan made legit points on the show. Now, La Escava Branca is a good show. I liked it a lot. But there are certain issues I had with the show. Number one, the swirling is too much. If you have not watched the show, I'm telling you, the swirling is too much. It's giving erasure of black Colombians with two black parents. And it's depicting, in my opinion, that black Colombians are thirsty to want to procreate with non black Colombians. That's what I get from watching the show, which is a problem. And also, it's giving you Asia, in my opinion. Number two, the show has some truth and false stuff happening within the show. I cannot make this up. There's an article that I left in the description down below. You guys can check it out. Where Yesenia, she made she made numerous points about the show, the nature of the show, and how it could be inaccurate in cer at certain times within the show. So that's a problem. And you know what's crazy? When I watched it, something told me that I should not take everything seriously. And I'm thankful I did not. Once again, I do like the show, but we need accuracy or at least 70 if not 90 percent accuracy when it comes to slavery any topics that is research driven and you have to be accurate it has to be mostly accurate in my opinion the article states the television series hurtago Garisi's wrote is a fiction 
but that fiction today portrays the bloodthirsty murderers and assaulters as heroes. White women and men imposed a system of death through slavery. The article continues, as one of the supporters of the digital boycott of La Escaba Branca posted online, the television show is produced in a context where Afro-Canadian actors face immense obstacles in acquiring roles on television and film outside of the stereotypical parts of chambered maids, bodyguards, or in the case of this telenovela, slaves. So, we gotta be happy, yay, Afro-Canadians and or any Afro-Latinos within this production of Na Escarabranca, they gain roles. It's awesome, but at the same time, at what cost? We need proper representation, not just stereotypical portrayals. We are worth more than just being a maid, bodyguard, a sidekick, a slave. Like, we are worth more. And I do know we have to showcase or regular things that people do in the daily. But the thing is, when you continuously show the same type of portrayals, and then people only consume this type of material, they're going to get a ignorant mentality of us Afro-Latinos, whether within the state or overseas in our countries. And that's a problem. Issa Gonzalez, do not get me wrong, I'm a fan of hers, air quotes, because I'm not that big of a fan of hers as much as I was before. Basically, I kind of grew out of being a fan of hers because of finding out that she did blackface, but you know what is so funny? I believe I saw this show with my older sister when we were younger, and she was 15 years old when she did this portrayal, and they made her do frack face. Okay, she did apologize, but it to me, it wasn't sincere. And also, like the person who mentioned within the Twitter comments, she didn't publicly apologize. She only, de where someone DM'd her and then she said that long statement, apologizing, but she didn't apologize though if you think about it, she didn't apologize because why she didn't go public and just acknowledge what she had done that was fucked up do not get me wrong so she was in the black knives matter movement and i believe i think she donated too but it's not hard to acknowledge what you have done that was harmful towards people that who are afro latinos in mexico because she is mexican and I'm not sure, but I hope she knows there are Afro-Mexicans in Mexico and other Afro-Latinos and the whole African diaspora. She has, she owns us an apology, a genuine one, publicly as well. Is she going to give it? Of course not, because it's not a big issue no more, but... I wish she had apologized publicly. What we could do as a society to better represent Afro-Latinos, Asians, and indigenous people within Latin American media, specifically in Univision and Del Mundo. Here's my list of ideas. More representation of Asian, Black, and Indigenous Latinos in leading and supporting roles, a bilingual cast in certain shows, 
having producers and writers from different backgrounds yes diversify everyone behind the scenes not just the actors you have to diversify your writers producers casting car agents and so on to better represent our latinos we need more cultural and positive roles we need to make sure we represent our latinos and we need to do positive roles more positive roles not something to do with cheating or robbing and and i get it some people are into that stuff but there are ways to intertwine the two and do something different and or do something unique without allowing stupidities when you properly represent a group of people aka the latino community this helps children within the latino community to feel represented properly not just within the american market but also in latin america as well there are latinos living in the states who are seeing these novellas too because they have to see it with their families specifically their grandparents and or parents who do not speak english or they more into watching latin american media because that's how i grew up in and when you see the lack of representation it it discourages you and it makes you try to figure out am i okay is there something wrong with me what about my family you know my my mom my dad my sisters my cousins you know brothers etc depending how your background is when you see the same people the same faces representing the latino community you get you feel like you're outsider like you was born in the wrong country and your ancestors do not exist higher asian black and indigenous actors hire them in latin america and if they're bilingual even better because that gives you more chances of trying to intertwine english and spanish together in your shows to get a more diversified audience but before i close out i just want to say thank you so much to victoria azu which by the way we made a collaboration go watch it <laughs> after this i have to thank her and her sister because they started this afro latino movement on representation and they weren't only focusing on themselves they were focusing on the whole latino community that are erased which includes asian and indigenous latinos and i think both of them especially victoria for continuing the movement tell me your thoughts about this video i would like to hear everyone's opinions ta -ta -ta -ta. be sure to like this video especially if you made it this far you might as well um uh, watch any of my playlists if you want to learn more about my channel i appreciate it yeah 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 thank you and